As a junior, Leslie Robinson has stepped into a leadership role for a Princeton women's basketball program that's eyeing an eighth straight postseason appearance this March. The fact that we came in freshman year and went 31-1, and one, and, I mean, that is the craziest thing. As you're a little girl watching UConn and watching Stanford and Tennessee and wanting to be those teams, and then we come in my freshman year, first year playing college basketball, and we have such amazing success. And then last year, getting the first at-large bid ever, um, men's or women's team in the Ivy League, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Back in the early 1980s, her father, Craig Robinson, was part of a similar run for the Tigers under Pete Carrill. The memory that stands out the most, aside from the fact that you have come to Princeton and played basketball and had a wonderful experience, uh, has to be our senior year when we won the Ivy League and then we played three games in the NCAA tournament. A lot of fun, great teammates, uh, great coaching staff, and we had a really good team. A 1983 Princeton graduate, Craig was a two-time Ivy League Player of the Year. After graduation, he played overseas and spent the better part of a decade working in investment banking before getting into coaching. Since then, he's been a head coach at Brown and Oregon State, but he got his start as a Division I assistant in 2000 at Northwestern. Also on that staff, current Princeton men's basketball head coach Mitch Henderson. Aside from the, the fact that every Princeton basketball player knows every other Princeton basketball player, uh, we go back to our both of, both of our first assistant coaching jobs was, were, was under uh, Coach Carmody at Northwestern University. So he and I are, had, be, had developed a terrific friendship. We also played championship three-on-three -three basketball nationally together, and uh, I couldn't be happier for what he's doing with the men's program here. I remember meeting Craig for the very first time, um, you know, right when, when I got to Chicago. It was 2000, it was September. I'd heard a lot about him. Coach Carroll talked about him all the time, but I hadn't met him. And, uh, you know, he was at the time still playing a lot of basketball, and so we, we first were playing a lot together. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a great challenge at Northwestern while we were there. And um, he, be, he became and still is a great friend. Mitch knew me when I was running around, um, running around Northwestern. Th those were the days where I wasn't that into basketball. So during the games, I was running around with um, Bill Carmody's son, who was another coach here at Princeton. And um, we would, you know, run amok around Northwestern. It's funny the way things just sort of come about because I can remember distinctly I think Leslie was three or four, maybe four or five when we first got there. And uh, we were playing this little game on my desk, spinning pennies and quarters and trying to get into this bowl. So it's been really fun to see Leslie and she's, she's grown up into you know, such a, a delightful person to be around. She's always smiling when she comes into the gym, um, says hi to my kids. So it's been really fun for that to see that. Outside of coaching, Craig has spent time as an analyst with ESPN, and this season he began a new endeavor as part of the Milwaukee Bucks front office, a unique role that plays into his background in business and basketball. You know, I am responsible for a couple of things with the Milwaukee Bucks. First and foremost, uh, the players' development off the court. Everything that they're doing that doesn't have anything to do with the games, I'm responsible for. The organizational development side is that, you know, I'm taking a look at how we're organized as, as a firm. A lot of times the business side and the basketball sides are like two separate companies within the same firm, and I'm tasked with hopefully bringing those two entities together. What really helps me with that is the fact that I can speak both languages. I, I can speak to the business side of the house and I can speak to the basketball side, and it truly is a position where I get to use every single one of my skills and experiences that I've I've garnered over the years. Basketball has taken Craig around the country, and growing up, Leslie moved around with him. From Chicago to Providence to Corvallis, basketball helped ease those transitions. Always having a team and kind of already built-in friends made that that much easier, and just being around his teams also made that fun, um, and being able to just go to the gym whenever and get shots up with him, get shots up with my older brother, kind of made wherever we were feel like home. You know, I coach Leslie less and less as she gets older and older because Coach Banghart's coaching her now and doing a fantastic job. The main thing I try and get across to Leslie is you can't pick up any fouls in the first half because she's a very aggressive player. The rest of the time, I'm just a dad. Have fun, make the open shot, don't just shoot the open shot, make the open shot and play hard and, uh, and enjoy this experience because it goes by really fast. 
And while she's certainly carrying on the Robinson family legacy, Leslie's path to Princeton has been her own. Obviously, the fact that I went to Princeton played a factor in my daughter, Leslie, going to Princeton. But the real factor was that she had been here. You know, she had come back here for reunions. She has been around campus just when I was coaching at Brown. But most importantly, the biggest factor was Coach Banghart. Coach Banghart actually recruited Leslie as her own entity. She didn't recruit her as niece of the first lady. It wasn't anything like that. She recruited her on her own merits, and that's really what got her to come to Princeton. I really haven't admitted this to him, but because um, I wanted to have my own kind of journey here at Princeton if I were to come. and. Um, but it was in the back of my mind, you know, wearing the same number and trying to do as well as he did here. Before I came to Princeton, I had no idea what legacy meant. I didn't know what the definition of the word was. And to, to, to have a, a daughter who plays here and then not only just plays here, is doing well here, loves the school, loves her teammates, it more than warms my heart and uh, I am so excited to watch her play. And I still get nervous. I know she's playing well and she's contributing, but I want her to have as much success as she can while she's here. For GoPrincetonTigers.com and the Ivy League Digital Network, I'm Cody Cruciel.